arguably one of the best starter decks out there that you can have for a beginner is the leon's charizard so this card is really special because basically and it's called leon's charizard even though it's not on the name because for only two fire energy it does 100 base right for a stage three that's kind of bad so to say but not really because check this out this attack does 50 damage for each leon card in your discard pile so if you run four of these that's um that's 200 more damage that you're dealing which is 300 damage as long as you can get this leon card into your discard pile and the best part about it is that battle sense allows you to look at the top three cards of your of your deck and place one of them in your hand and discard the other cards which will allow you to farm the leon card as, as fast as possible this card actually runs on two engines so to say you want to get leon as fast as possible in your hand technically you can argue that it runs three engines and the reason i say that is because you got the make do um since you know which will allow you to discard a card from your hand and draw two cards so you not only can you get the cards you need right away it also lets you discard a leon card if you have it on your hand i already mentioned charizard's battle sensibility and another pokemon that you can kind of spam to get the cards you're needing is gormandai's snorlax which basically um you can draw until you have seven cards in your hand and that's it your your ability your your turn ends if you use that ability so we're gonna go ahead and use leon charizard deck today as a showcase it's gonna be a very fun deck to use and i'm hoping to pick up from where we were where we left off in the last video and pick up some more win streaks um yeah um, i'm really excited to use this charizard deck one of the best decks i've ever used to be honest and i just built it like two days ago or something like that and i'm having a lot of fun with this deck i've gone against it a couple times but man this deck wreaks havoc when it wants to okay so uh to start things off i'm gonna place my charmander there as you saw and then we got level ball so right off the bat i can get um again i can't get mincino on the board and that's probably what I'm going to do, especially because I'm against this Kyogre deck. I'm obviously at a disadvantage. Don't need that one because it's a water type, but we'll be fine. Kind of. We'll discard our turn and see how things go. I think the next turn, depending on what I draw, I kind of want to um, evolution in sense and then go into... I don't even need to do that actually. I can simply do this. Awesome. Rare Candy is an awesome card. I love Rare Candy. We're gonna do this. And I really wanna refresh our hand given that we're against this guy over here. There it is. Heat Energy is awesome because you get 20 HP. Place that there, place you. Um, I forgot I placed an energy already. I'm only running eight energy. Um, so it's kind of crucial for me to save these. But I also got the right hand. So I don't mind. I'm also running a risk though. I'm just gonna discard the switch. I don't feel like I need it right now. Bam. Should we battle sense just cause? I think we should. I always take the Charizard cause I'm only running four. But I also got the, yeah, I think if we take the Charizard, we'll be fine. And we already have this. Yeah, we're good. On the next turn, we'll be able to knock out this Kyogre, given that we have one Leon already. One versus one prize card. This is going to be good. Pretty good. And you're going to go down. Can't even retreat unless he has a switch. So I would have powered up the Groudon. Kind of get, I would have given up on the Kyogre because of that. Um... We're gonna evolution in sense. We're gonna need a Charmillion. I'm gonna make do. I don't need the Quick Ball anymore, especially since I have three of these. Look, especially because I have that. I'm not gonna battle sense mostly because I don't need another Leon in the discard pile. Yeah, we're, we're fine. This, this Groudon's gonna go down next turn too. I think he's gonna quit. I think he's gonna concede. Let's see. Mm -mm. If I were you, my friend, I would start powering up that Groudon if you have any, any energy. Yep. 
That's exactly what he does. Regardless, I'll be able to knock this thing out next turn. And part of me, to be honest, wants to actually boss his orders the Volcarona. I am going to battle sense here. Pick this up. For both. Because I really want to try to get the... I want to get another Leon so I can try to take that as an opportunity to KO the Volcarona. Because once my opponent gets rolling, unfortunately I didn't get it. That's a shame. That is a big shame. Big, big shame. Yep, there goes. I had a feeling he was going to concede, to be honest. Okay, let's move on to another one. So it looks like we're against another water deck, at least according to the coin flip. Now, the cool part is that sometimes water disadvantages or yeah, water disadvantages don't phase you because Charizard just does a lot of damage. Unfortunately, we have to take a mulligan. Typically, from my experience, when I take a mulligan with this deck, it is not a good thing. I typically lose those. We might do three matches. I had to take three mulligans. That is, see, this is exactly, and I don't even got a Marnie on the ha on, on my hand. So, something's gotta give. Something has got to give. And you got the Sloking. That's kind of messed. So, this Sloking is actually quite good because World of Ruin is its best attack. At the end of your opponent's next turn, the Pokemon is knocked out. And unfortunately, I have lost some matches because of it. Um, I think the bet. I don't need so many ex experience shares. Part of me wants to get this Mincino. Probably should have gotten another Snorlax, but it's fine. Let's get this, because we really need that. Place this here. And if Gorman dies. I got another Mincino. I need to find another Pokemon to sack off next turn. And it's probably going to have to be this Charmander, unfortunately. Ouch. That one hurt. Ooh, more Petco. Why are you... This attack does 30 damage for each damage counter on it. That's not bad. And that is not good for me. Especially because I have this. These. This. I hope he doesn't have any energy. He's probably going to have some energy, though. Level ball. Probably another Hundor. That's what I would do. These single strike decks are so fun. I have a single striker Shifu deck. And it's so fun to use. You have no idea how fun it is to use. Go oh, back. I don't think he has any energy. He's probably going to try to get... Oh, I was wrong. I was very wrong. And unfortunately, Snorlax is going to go down. And the Sloking is so good. It's almost too good. For each damage counter? I wonder why he didn't hit me. I'm actually quite intrigued. I kind of want to bring out the Sableye. A part of me wants to save this boss's orders for later too. I'm going to go ahead and Centino here. And depending on my mood, I'll probably Marnie because I really have a hand disadvantage and I don't want him to have all the cards that he needs. Let's do this. I am going to Marnie here. I really want to try to get an evolution of this. Level ball is really helpful. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. Um, we're gonna level ball, get this Charmillion. I should really see how much Leon I have on this. At least just to kind of scout a little bit. And I need energy. I'm not getting any energy and it's really bad. energy that's pretty good for my opponent let's 
He's running he's running great ball in this deck. That's kind of interesting. There's a love ball. More Peko. I would save those cards to be honest if I were him. More Peko's probably his main attacker. And there's the world of ruin. Okay. That is okay with me. I'm okay with it being knocked out, to be honest. We're gonna go ahead and make do here because I really need some energy. I'm desperately needing some energy. I also don't want to... Let's battle sense. I still got nothing. I'm gonna get rid of my only other Sencino, but I really, really, really need and he has some cards in his hand that I don't really like. Actually, I'm going to do this first. So I'm glad that prompt came up for me. Give me some energy, please. Yep, there it is. It's exactly what I needed. I don't need this Encino so I can get rid of it next turn. Put that there. And we... Gorman dies. There it is. I need one more energy. How much Leon do I got? Two. That's 250. That's enough to knock out the Slow King. And that's one of the bigger problems I have against my opponent right now. Is the gosh darn Slow King. Now, if I can get rid of the Sableye next, because Sableye can be pretty annoying too, I'd be okay. And it's a good thing I got this boss's orders. I should really run a Pelt Bat on this deck too. He's going to pick this up. I think he kind of has to. And then he's going to hit this Charizard again. Now I have to let Snorlax go down. And the messed up part about this is that it's that the Pokemon gets knocked out at the end of my turn. So sometimes it can prevent you from attacking. Well, not, not necessarily, but... It can prevent you from keeping an energized Pokemon on the field. And surprisingly, he doesn't go for the World of Ruin. Now, if I could just get a switch, I would be okay with the switch. Give me a switch, give me a switch, give me a switch. Nothing. Honestly, I hate to do this, but I kind of have to. I didn't even get anything. I'm gonna take the rare candy though. Let's try this one. I got right hand, so I'm not worried. Okay. I think I only have to switch on this deck too, which is not good. Not good at all. We're gonna call a turn here. So sometimes this deck, because of the Snorlax, can be a little slow to set things up for. And that's the only thing I dislike about this deck. And now we're going to need another Leon. I got two. Now what? What does this do? Okay, so Max Toxify I'm not so afraid of. I actually want this Norlax to go down. I don't know if it's going to be a thing. Probably going to put damage counters on Marpeko. That or Sableye, which both can get really annoying. Yep. I had a feeling it was more Peggle. Like I said, I'm actually okay with that. 12 damage counters plus 30, it's gonna knock out this Norlex. You can take your prize card. I'm actually gonna try to take two right now. Three. Three with this. If I can just get a Leon. Um, there it is. I don't need that one. I need this. Because now I can hit hit it. I can one hit KO it, to be quite on quite honest. I do just in case I can get another boss's orders. And I cannot. Okay. Um I got four Leon. This is this is gonna be a knockout. Bye bye. And this is why I love this deck. <laughs> a one shot on a V Max? That's unheard of. Well obviously but but still, it's not common. 
comes that more peko which is fine because if more peko knocks us out i can simply uh i can simply come to the other charizard and knock it out he has no more single strike cards which is a plus for me did you discard them all nope the rest are in your prize pool which technically you can oh I wonder what are you what are you doing? Why would he scoop up net both of them? Especially the Houndoom, that does not make any sense to me. I think the next Pokemon I'm gonna get rid of next, even though this Morpeko exists, is gonna be this boy right here. Sableye. Oh. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. And the good news is I have two red candy. Now I wish I did have a Marnie though. I think I'm running three in this deck, and I got one more, if I'm not mistaken. That didn't even knock me out, so I'm not even worried. So next, we're going to rare candy this. We're going to place this Charmander here, and we're going to rare candy it next turn. For now, I'm going to power this one up. And I'm gonna get rid of the Sableye. I really don't trust the Sableye. Royal we'll Blaze it. There's 300 damage, and all we gotta do is knock out the Morpeko next turn, which is really doable. Especially since I have um, single single energy or single prize card of Pokemon. This is a W. This is a W. Tough luck. Sloking, there's no stable eye. Oh. Sixty damage still won't be there enough to knock me out. Hat to the peak doesn't apply to me. Explosive disconnect. Discontent, actually, not disconnect. And there it is. Okay, so what does Leon's Charizard deck consist of. So this is exactly why I like playing the games first and then showing you the deck because you guys can actually see how it plays and then I can run through it. So first and foremost, we're running two Mencino um, and we're also running two Cincino uh, or Tincino, whatever you want to call it. So this card's obviously important because if you have any Leon in your hand, you can simply discard them um, and draw two cards to get the card you're needing. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'm running two Snorlax, mostly two because of consistency, but you really only need one on the field. Um, and this is because, as you guys saw, you draw until you have seven cards on the hand, and eventually I had a bunch of cards in my hand that I didn't even need, but I ended up winning the game, which is all that matters. And it actually helped me draw this card, which allowed me to one-shot the VMAX uh, Slow King, which is really nice. Um, pretty self-explanatory as far as the main attacking Pokemon goes for Charmander for consistency, um, especially because you know it's it's your it's the main card you need. We got four Charmeleon instead of three, just um, for consistency also, and we also have four Leon Charizard, which also is there for consistency. Sometimes you don't need all four in a game where you are losing. Obviously, you are going to need all four, and that's why I run four, four, and four. You can run four, three, and two, um, four, three, and three, or even four, one, and three. We can just rely on the rare candy, which I have tried, and I really don't like that, to be honest. Um, but yeah, that's why we run four, four, and four. Now, evolution in sense is extremely important, especially if you got a rare candy on, on your hand. And that's exactly why I run that. Um, or even just to pull a Charizard as you're needing. Um, because you can pull level ball um, with Charmeleon or even the Cincino as needed. Um, but yeah, you have you have both options. Level ball, it's basically self-explanatory, just like the last um, video that we made. We got two ordinary, um, actually three, no, two ordinary rod. And the reason behind that is because if you need it, I'm only running four of these. So if you really need to pull these from your discard pile, especially after discarding or even battle sensing them um, into your discard pile, it's really nice to be able to pull those from your discard pile into your hand, or I mean deck, and same thing goes with any of these cards that you're needing. So let's say you, you got two Charmander in the prize pool and you got two in your discard pile, it'd be nice to be ordinary rod, or even if it applies to any of these evolution lines. Um, probably not Charmeleon as much because you got the rare candy, but you know, Charizard and, and the Charmander. 
So for Quick Ball, um, that's pretty self-explanatory. Discard a card from your hand and, and get any of these Pokemon. It's typically not needed in this deck, but it is nice to have, especially if you need to discard a Leon from your hand. Now, three red candies, I think three is the perfect number. Um, you can even run two. Um, but as you saw, I, I think I used three rare candies on my last game. I, I, I know two for sure. But um, yeah, sometimes if you just can't get Charmeleon or too much Charmeleon in your prize pool, rare candy is a really good card to have. You can run four, but I think four is a little overkill. Three is the perfect number to run, in my opinion. Um, I have two switch. Now, arguably, you can run three to four switch, especially if you got this, this big fella here in the active spot um and it, and once you're ready to attack you sometimes either a have to rely on snorlax to get ko'd b use these energy in order to get him off the field or you know three rely on getting two switch out of a 60 card deck in order to get him off of the field and that's the only drawback that i have with this deck um i can probably get away with running three evolution incense and running another switch that's an option but um you know the deck has been working for me to be quite honest we actually have one boss's order instead of one uh, instead of two i mean um i just couldn't find space for another boss's orders to be honest with you i think this deck is already kind of it has a lot of cards already as it stands um i think one is a really good number um at least for this deck one to two now obviously leon you do need for leon that's non-negotiable especially if you're wanting to knock out uh, a v max pokemon just like you saw um on this last game or leon is extremely crucial and this deck isn't as, it's not going to be good or as good if you're running only two leon you're you're going to want four for marnie we are running three marnie i don't find needing her that much in this deck but you know sometimes it's nice to disrupt your your opponent's hand and just you know have them draw four cards and you start with five um kind of shuffle things around professor's research i'm only running three you're already getting the cards you're needing with Cincino um and the snorlax so three is a good number to have i'm running one right hand and the reason behind that is because let's say you get snorlax knocked out you come into a charizard and your opponent has a v max pokemon in the backfield you can simply play this card number one you you, you um, attach a basic energy from your discard pile to to your charizard um you could also pick up a card from your from your deck and place it to your hand and i know you can only play one supporter card at a time but sometimes it's nice to you know save with boss's orders um experience share a very good card to have in my opinion attach it to a charmander especially since they only need two energy to attack um, one of your Charizard goes down, you get um, three, well, two energy attached to each Charmander and then start powering up again. This deck is really, really good with the AXP share. We're running four of each energy. My mouth is getting really, really dry. <laughs> Excuse me. We got four heat energy. This energy, a uh, number one, attaches fire energy or provides fire energy, but it also gets 20 HP. So. 170 hp on a charizard is already as bulky as it gets 190 is it even bulkier which is really really nice for us for a one prize card pokemon you're basically running a v pokemon with without having the v rule effect which is take two energies you don't know if it gets knocked out your opponent takes one and there you have it um leon's charizard really really fun deck to have um a really really fun deck to play also and it's a really good deck if you're barely getting into the pokemon tcg this is a really good deck to start with um but yeah that's it make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoyed the video i'll see you guys next time